Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Disney's Animal Kingdom and I am so excited. There are so many new things happening in the park that I wanted to come out and make a video and show you guys. On top of that, I want to talk about the big changes and announcements at D23, like the fact that we're losing our beloved dinosaur attraction. It's one of my favorite rides in the park. And then also I want to get the new uh, Timon and Pumbaa magnet before it's all gone. So we're going to ride some rides, eat some food, and have a beautiful animal kingdom kind of day anywho's let's go do this it is such a beautiful day today in the animal kingdom the temperature is 88 degrees but it says it feels like it's 100 and i'm excited i'm excited to hang out and hopefully no rain right now i'm just seeing blue skies and sunshine I am going to buy the new multi-pass system because I want to make sure I ride Dinosaur. We do have some time. Disney said construction of the new Tropical Americas area, which is replacing Dinoland USA, is set to start in fall. But it's going to be done in phases. So we have plenty of time to say goodbye to Dinosaur. And then on top of that, I want to get the Timon and Pumbaa AP magnet before they're all gone. And maybe uh, one of the new fancy burgers over at Tiffin's. I hear they've got a special lunch burger that everyone's talking about so it's gonna be a fun day full of a lot of cool things to do in animal kingdom here is a look at the wait times today. Avatar Flight of Passage is 75 minutes. Navi River, 65. 25 for Dinosaur. Everest is a 50 minute wait. And I'm glad that I bought the multi-pass. I woke up and I actually purchased it for $17 here at Animal Kingdom. They didn't have anything for Flight of Passage. And uh, when I selected Animal Kingdom, uh, they usually have you like pick three attractions you want to start out with. And it actually gave me the three that I wanted all right in a row. Literally. I got Dinosaur, Expedition Everest, and uh, the Navi River Journey all back to back right in a row. How cool is that? Like, like I said, they just recommended that for me, and it's perfectly lined up. We're going to ride Expedition Everest, uh, Dinosaur, and then Navi River Journey from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m., 3 p.m. to 4, and 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. And once I use one, I can book other ones, and also I can move those times up if they uh, come available. But that was actually pretty easy and kind of a success. Today, the multi-pass system worked in my favor, but that's not always the case. I always feel like sometimes you go and uh, you pay for it and you don't get to ride exactly what you want to, but maybe it's just a quiet day in the park today. I mean, right here, a lot of people usually don't like to come back and walk this way, so it's not usually crowded anyways, but I just like walking around. It feels like I'm in an empty theme park. Look at the tree of life there. It's so nice back here. It's like a little shortcut to get to Discovery Island. I keep on talking about D23. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's the ultimate Disney fan event, and it's where Disney announces all of its upcoming projects for the next couple of years, like their new rides, new parks, and even their entertainment. And Disney invited me out, and I got to go and learn so much about the future of the parks and what they plan on doing. Like I mentioned, Dino Land USA is getting turned into the Tropical Americas, and it's really amazing. But my favorite thing that they announced probably was that Disney's California Adventure is getting so much love. They're getting a Coco ride. That's why I'm wearing the Coco shirt. I love Coco and I'm glad that it's getting a ride out in uh, DCA. And they're also building a Pandora over there, which it's going to be massive. And the technology that they're going to be using for that, I think that it's going to be similar to uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean ride in Shanghai. And I think that's like, I can't wait. I, I mean, I've always wanted to go to Shanghai and I wanted to ride that Pirates. And now I can only imagine being able to ride like a Pandora Pandora version here in uh, California. From the concept art that I have seen at D23 and the model display, it kind of looks like it's going to be the same layout. You know, the Tropical Americas is going to be the same layout as Dino Land USA. And I might be wrong, but if you look at it, it looks like it lines up perfectly. Like to the right is going to be where Indiana Jones is, and that's where Dinosaur is. And then to the left, they're going to have the carousel, uh, and that's going to be uh, where the uh, Triceratops spin is. And then they're going to have have uh, the new e-ticket Encanto attraction and it's going to be uh, where Primeval World was. 
like I mentioned, Disney announced that they're going to be starting this project in fall, and uh, they're not going to be closing Dinosaur, so everyone's going to have a lot of time to come and be able to ride it one last time, and it's kind of crazy because eventually they're going to get to a point where like they're going to be like, all right, Dinosaur's closing in one week, and I think they have an excellent opportunity to call it the countdown to extinction like i think it's like you know what i mean and uh, like i said i'm gonna be horribly sad when it goes but i'm excited to see what indiana jones is gonna bring and all of the things we talk about is just stuff that i experienced at d23 and i've seen concept arts and uh also uh, like a model that they had and uh i just i kind of want to point out some stuff and then ride dinosaur again one thing I did notice when they made the announcement, they said that Indiana Jones is going to be a, an adventure in a temple where Indy's going to come face to face with a mythical creature. And, you know, I mean, if you've watched any of the Indiana Jones uh, movies, you know, nothing is impossible. So there could be maybe time travel. How cool would it be if there's a dinosaur in the Indiana Jones attraction? Like a little tie back to uh, the original attraction. I think that would be a great idea before we go ride dinosaur i do want to get my timon and pumba ap magnet because like i said I, I like to collect them all on the side of my fridge and this one's very popular and i'm afraid they might run out oh here it is the annual pass holder magnet uh distribution coming to get my magnet Thank you. I can see what's happening. And they don't have a clue. They'll fall in love. And here's the bottom line. Our trio's down to two. Look at this. I'm happy that I got it. It's going to go nice on the fridge. I'll have to put it on at the end of the video. We talked a lot about Indiana Jones, but I want to talk about where the Encanto attraction's going. And from what I, you know, what I take from the photos and the model is, this is going to be the house right here, and it's going to be based off of uh, the tech that they uh, were previewing in the Imagineering uh, activation, because it looked like you're kind of going through the house, and it's going to be when he first discovers his powers, and it's going to be a nice big building, and it's going to look beautiful, and honestly, I'm going to say it. I don't care that Primeval World is gone. I didn't like that attraction. It hurt every time I rode it. And I think that this is going to be a way better, way better replacement. The only sad thing is, is we're going to lose our beloved dinosaur. All right. Well, enough of the future business. Now let's dive into the past and uh, maybe go get a dino. <laughs> The sad thing about this ride is it's iconic for so much more than just being an attraction. Everything from the history to the quotable like lines from the attraction, Dr. Seeker, let's go get that dino. You know what I mean? It's fast, it's a blast, it's in the past. And even like the old McDonald's uh, like ingredients on uh, the uh, pipes. Like there's so many cool things that's gonna be gone. And I hope that Disney just adds some Easter eggs to Indiana Jones because there's plenty of source material and poor Bill Nye I mean this man is basically a Disney legend when it comes to attractions and uh, another uh, attraction that he's gonna be losing I used to stay at I used to stare at that alligator gar every time I walked in this queue I thought it was just so cool let me know in the comments if you guys know what I'm talking about with Bill Nye the science guy and what other attraction he was in Transdimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller, and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. Time travel commencing in T minus 10 seconds and counting. This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the iguanodon, and get out before that asteroid hits. Let's roll! Computer, now what? Carnotaurus. 
That's it! Abort mission! Abort! Abort! We're getting it! Get them out now! Asteroid impact. Brace yourself! This is it! Hello there. That was a great ride, and it's so cool that they actually sell the puppets from the pre-show out here. I kind of want it, but it's hard to get off my hand now, so I actually might have to buy it. <laughs> I literally might have to bring this out with me. I can imagine taking this around. Oh, we can go ride Expedition Everest. <laughs> On the outside of the attraction, you can actually see all of the dinosaurs you see on the ride itself. The Carn Carnotaurus, the Carnotaurus, and I'm pretty sure that this guy is the Alioramus. Alioramus, and I did. I ended up buying him. I don't know why he's upside down. This kind of looks funny like this. <sighs> I think we're gonna actually make our way down to Expedition Everest now. <laughs> I want to stop and wash my hands first. I gotta get this out of here. <laughs> it's, it's really hard. And in fact, I, I I can't do it. I'm gonna have to put my camera down. <laughs> Sadly, we missed the burger at Tiffin's. It's only available for lunch, and uh, I was uh, too busy getting excited about Dinosaur and riding it, and uh, we'll have to catch it in next, like another time. Uh, I think it ended at like 2 p.m. Uh, but now, like I said, we're gonna make our way down to Expedition Everest, probably get something else to eat around the park, and then over to Pandora for Navi River. Expedition Everest is such an amazing attraction. I mean, honestly, if you were just coming here and you didn't know much about the park and you just pointed that out, you know, a lot of people wouldn't, you know, to think they wouldn't think that there's a giant Yeti in there and a roller coaster. And I just love it, man. And look at how dead it is here. Wow, we really lucked out coming to Animal Kingdom today. I think it's the heat. I mean, honestly, I said earlier it was 88 degrees, but it got hot real quick and it got very humid. Like, probably the worst I've seen in a while. We got the front row. Now I think it's time to get something to eat. I really wanted to get that burger, but we're gonna have to put that on the back burner and come back to the park one day during lunch hours. And uh, now I'm not too sure what I'm gonna get. There's a lot of good offerings though. Should I go Yak and Yeti, Flame Tree Barbecue? 
I mean, there's so many different offerings. I know I just that Rainforest Cafe not too long ago. I want to see if there's something special going on, like, you know, something like a monthly special, a monthly Animal Kingdom special. If you work in an Italian restaurant or soup restaurant in the central Florida area, I apologize because I probably have called and asked what your soup of the day is and what your monthly specials are. <laughs> it's just so, I'm a big soup guy and I love monthly, I, I, that's why I love like the cookie of the month. I love monthly things. I like, I like a big uh, variety and I like change up and you know, stuff like that. And Animal Kingdom sometimes really does have great stuff. I know they have a rotating ice cream sandwich that they do over in Dinoland. Maybe I should have checked that out, but. I need some food food. I was curious to see when the lunch actually ended and I found out it ends at 335 and they had a walk up available. Uh, it said 10 minute wait so I joined it and they just called me instantly so we might be able to make it in time for the lunch uh, the special burger at Tiffin so I think we're gonna head there next. I was talking to someone and they were hyping up the burger saying it's like definitely one of the best burgers in uh, Walt Disney World, but they said that it ended at 2.30, so I was like, oh, I missed it, uh, and I decided to just, you know, check it uh, for myself, and I found out 3.35, look at that, pretty fancy. And we still have Navi River Journey to actually go to, but I think it might start raining. The clouds up there are starting to look a little angry, and I felt, uh, I felt the rain drop on my shoulder. A raindrop on my shoulder. <laughs> the rain doesn't stop the fun here in Harambe, though. Ooh. Here it is, Tiffin's signature burger. It's only available 11:30 a.m. till 3 p.m. It's a uh, in-house burger blend with demi glaze, aged black diamond cheddar, Parker House roll with waffle fries. With waffle fries. This restaurant is definitely a restaurant I would classify as fancy. And uh, it's cool that they have a lunch special to get people in here. They also have a steak on the lunch special that uh, has ingredients that come from the Land Pavilion in Epcot. And I uh, just like the inside of it. Each of the rooms are differently themed to the different lands here at Animal Kingdom. And the whole restaurant's built on the concept of uh, research on the Imagineers going and discovering cool things about, you know, building Animal Kingdom. And I just love it in here. It's so nice. The burger has arrived and it looks amazing. Look at that Parker House roll. And they got like a nice little design on the top of the bun. I'm going to try to pick it up. Look at that. That is a sturdy, good-looking burger, and I can see the demi-glaze on there. I think we're gonna go right on in. First bite. Wow. It's the Parker House roll that's doing it for me. <laughs> I love it. It is so good. I definitely would come back and get this again. I'm gonna add a little french fry to the burger. Anybody else do that? I always add french fries to my burgers, and these waffle fries are so good, so crisp. And I gotta tell you, that is a beefy burger. Very, very big. And it's still holding together very well, very strong. Enough of the burger business. I do have to say, I do think that burger is way better than Steakhouse 71 Burger because I'm not about that smash burger lifestyle. But uh, it's not as good as uh, the Geyser Point Burger. I think that one's my favorite burger. This one's great. I just wasn't the biggest fan of the Demi Glaze. I love the Parker House Roll and I love the, 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 the burger blend, but uh, not so much the Demi Glaze. And now I think we're going to make our way into Pandora. Go ride uh, Navi River Journey. One of the other things I'm excited that they announced for at D23 is Pandora coming to DCA. And uh, they're going to have a boat attraction there. It's not going to be like uh, Navi River Journey here. It's going to be a little bit more thrilling. My favorite thing about this uh, Navi River uh, attraction is the animatronic at the end. And uh, the concept art for the new Pandora at DCA looks amazing with a lot of cool animatronics, some really cool creatures, maybe a banshee. And it's going to be based off the sequel uh, of uh, Pandora. So it's going to be the way of the water. And there's so much like endless possibilities because they still have another movie coming out. And it's just going to be really cool to see it in person. 
we made our way down to Navi River Journey, but sadly, it's definitely a rainstorm. The sky, the, the sky's got like from crystal clear blue to gray and stormy in no time. And look at how beautiful the floating mountains are. And honestly, when I was talking about DCA earlier, can you only imagine like if we built this here in Walt Disney World, what's the visual aspects gonna be like? I'm gonna put a little area, some of the concept art of what it looks like. It's gonna be amazing, but I think we're gonna head on in and uh, go ride Navi River Journey. It's starting to rain now as we're heading into Navi River Journey, so that means I'm afraid what it's gonna be like when we get out. Oh boy, we'll see though. <laughs> Navi River was great, but I feel like I should have left when it started raining when I walked in because I am soaked. Like, I, I definitely feel like I got caught in the rain there. It did feel nice though. I love running around the park on a rainy day. Hey, how are ya? Sorry I look like a wet street rat. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you just gotta go for it. Oh no! This is not good. <laughs> oh boy. Why is it gotta be the big droplets? <laughs> I've always wanted to see Pandora empty. <laughs> oh boy. I am honestly thinking about uh, buying a new shirt in here right now just so I can change. I mean, I am so the undershirt soap, the, 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 the Roosevelt shirt, the, I got soggy bottoms and soggy socks. It's a soggy day. Might as well take shelter for a little bit and look at some of the new merchandise in here. Oh, look, they got a bunch of Coco stuff here. You know, I'd love to see uh, 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 Ariel's face when she comes down and gets to see Encanto, like, uh, like the themed land, the Tropical America. That's her favorite movie. She loves Encanto. I do love Coco. I think that's one of my favorites, along with Moana, Hercules, a goofy movie. All those rank up, and I think it's the music. I'm not one to throw in the towel, but uh, I've officially hit my uh, peak uh, wetness, and I think we're going to have to call it a day. I can't see anything, and uh, I'm going to have to head home. <laughs> I decided to risk it for the biscuit, and now it stopped raining. So people are coming in, getting ready to enjoy a dry day in the park, and I'm walking out a soggy bottom boy. <laughs> My hand really stinks like plastic because of my dinosaur friend here. And it's funny because it kind of reminds me of my childhood. Because we, I, I, I used to play with a lot of plastic toys. But it's not a great feeling, especially when you're wet from the rain. Not quite yet. Watching our one stop, so please remain seated. Hold on to small children and we pass until we... I didn't want to surprise Gracie because I wanted her to meet my little dinosaur puppet. Gracie! Oh! Is your puppet? She's gonna probably think it's a, to a chew toy. What? You like him! Now it's time for the ultimate test. Will Gracie take the cookie from Dr. Seeker? What do you think? You want it? No? Try it like that. <laughs> yep, I guess she does like the cookie. I don't know how she feels about him. 
Because, like, at one point, she's not, like, she's not scared. She kind of gets excited. I wonder if Gracie would like our friend a little bit more if uh, they played together. I got one of Gracie's favorite little toys here, the elephant. Look at her just sitting there like a fancy girl. Maybe they'll uh, think, I, maybe she'll think it's like, you know. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm not too sure how Gracie feels about our little friend here. We didn't even give him a name. You know, I think we're going to call him Dr. Seeker. Dr. Seeker, it makes sense, you know. But uh, I'm going to keep him forever. I'm going to add him to my collection of cool things. I also put my magnet up. Look, oh, I want to show you my magnets. I picked up these two on my last trip to California. Now I'm going to start on this side. I'm a little full over here, though. I got all the pass holder ones. I got my Oh My Lanta Roosevelt's pin. This is from one of my shirts. Oh, I put this up here, too. That's the Three of Hearts from David Blaine. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep it going. I love Disney giving out these little magnets. I think that's such a great idea. It keeps it and Universal, too. Look at it. I got all the Universal. U-O-A-P. U-O-A-P. Yup. Yup. And I guess with that, I think we are done here today. I had a lot of fun getting caught in the rain at Animal Kingdom, showing you guys all the new things to look forward to, and, uh, you know, riding some rides, eating some food. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye!